and welcome back. So now we are discussing the launch of the Sexual Harassment in the Workplace Trilingual Helpline as well as the National Workplace Policy on Sexual Harassment with Chief Labor Relations Officer of the Conciliation, Advisory and Advocacy Division of the Ministry of Labor, Ms. Sabina Gomez. Ms. Gomez, good morning and thank you very much for coming. Good morning, Maran, and good morning to Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this helpline. Okay. Um, now, it's another layer in terms of the service that the Ministry of Labor provides in terms of um, with the sexual harassment policy. Um, we wanted to lend support to people or to give them that extra layer of comfort in terms of getting advice because sometimes when things happen in the workplace, you know, persons don't know where to access advice, they may not want to come, and the confidentiality, you know, at their own pace, they can call us. So, so the helpline is just another layer of service that we offer um, to support the policy and then the impending legislation to come. Um, well, it's trilingual in nature, English, Spanish, and French, and the features uh, we have for employers if they want to call in to get advice in terms of what to do. If it happens in the workplace, um, workers can call in and migrant workers can call in. So this is for the victim and also the mm -hmm. employer? Yes. And it deals specifically with the workplace? Yes. How can, what's the number for the helpline? The number of the helpline is 800 CAAD, which is the acronym for the division. I thought it would be easy for persons to remember. So it's free. So you can call in and, um, you know, somebody will be there to at least guide you in terms of what to do because, you know, um, we are people that we, you know, we don't like to write if something happens. So we will guide you in terms of what to do at this stage. It's advisory in nature and we would give you the assistance if you need um, um, alternative because there are different um, areas in terms of, uh, I should say, different access for justice in terms of whether it may be um, if there's not a sexual harassment policy in the workplace, um, we could assist the employer with that uh, or whether it's an OSH issue because it could be um, the employer not providing a, a safe working environment for me, so it could be that issue. It could be a matter for the police. Um, so we are here to just give general advice in terms of what to do. Is the helpline already in operation? Yes, it is. So persons can call in. And, you know, sexual harassment is something that it, we know, we have an idea that, that it may be more prevalent than what is being reported um, because sometimes people may not want to come forward. Um, so you can call, right, just dial 800-CAAD. Um, you can call, have a chat with us, and we will guide you because, you know, one of the things that we are mindful of and sometimes people may stay in a situation because they are afraid to lose their jobs. They may be in a really vulnerable um, situation and sometimes the employer knows that and the employer will prey on that city on their particular situation. Is it a 24-hour helpline? Um, not as yet, right? We want to start off and see how it, how it goes. And one of the important features of the helpline is gathering data because, you know, we are a country that sometimes, you know, we data is, eludes us. So we want to be able to capture data in terms of how many calls we receive, where the calls are coming from, and the type of issues. So we'll be able to really say, and it will lend assistance because we planning later on to do a study and a survey and to, to really get that data as to what has taken place in the workplace is in Trinidad and Tobago, in both the private, public sector, and, and government ministry. You say the helpline, uh, its main aim is to provide advice. What would be the next step? Is well, there a next step? Well, there would be a next step in terms of when persons, as of now, there's a, there's a draft bill that is before the office of the AG, and I know they're working on it assiduously, and uh, that will be specifically for sexual harassment. But as of now, how matters reach to the, to the, to the industrial court, the reach of the industrial court through issues arising out of sexual harassment. Um, sometimes if they come forward and they, um, they, 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 they make a claim Sometimes workers get suspended. Sometimes they get um, 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 they they claim constructive dismissal because frustration of the contract of employment. If, if your employer nobody's taking you on, you make a report and and people just ignore you or they make fun of you or they bully you or they harass you on the job. Sometimes matters end up 
um, bias for those reasons and they find themselves into the industrial court and that's where we get judgments coming out of the court yeah. in terms of guidance in terms of how to address let's that. Let's speak a little bit about sexual harassment eh? because I think we need to to break it down fine, fine, fine mm -hmm. for people. Because I, I think that we, we yes. are of sexual harassment in Trinidad yes, today. Yes, right? really, it is something yes, that we yes, engage in yes. almost on a daily yes. basis. So break it down for us. All right. Now, it, let me break it down. <laughs> um, it's, it's anything that affects the dignity of men and women in the workplace. And I say men and women because yes. it happens to men as well. And it affects your, 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 your dignity. And it's a conduct of a sexual nature. Now, it could be verbal, it could be um, physical, it could be, um, you know, sending emojis to someone, WhatsApp messages. Um, it could take the form of you um, sending, having pictures posted in the workplace or talking to people about, talking to people in your hearing. You know, sometimes, you know, in Trinidad, we call this throwing words. You know, we may want to tell you something, but we won't come directly to you and tell you. So we may tell your friend, so we you know it will get back to you. So all of these um, little um, variants, and, and, and the law is going to pick up on all the other um, little outliers that people feel that they can get away um, with sexually harassing someone on the job. You know, if it's unwelcome and it's unwanted, you know, the excessive touching or, or you know, you're, you're typing on your computer and your boss will come and lean over your shoulder mm -hmm. and you press want to, into you. Want your right. you. <laughs> you want to massage you? How right. that top fitting you so nice, yes, girl? You know. I find that pants fit you very, you know, all of that, yes, you know? all of that, all of that. And, you know, and even when we go out to workplaces, you know, people would still find themselves and they're wondering, but... You know, we would have gone your way of it and you still find yourself it like it's like an addiction. But then I always tell people, you know, we, uh, we, were, we were a people who used to drive without seatbelts, right? And then when the law came, you now everybody, it's like you're, you're buckling up, Ms. right? Ms. Gomez, a mm -hmm. lot of people are going to get themselves in trouble, you know? Yes, yes, and they should because, I mean, I've heard some cases. There was a young lady who came in and um, she worked at a bar. And what she told me was so horrendous. Eh? I mean, you know, people having to sleep with this owner of the bar in order to get a job. And like everybody who comes into the bar would know that this person would have slept with the owner to get a job. And they don't last very long. So when you have to be subjected to that in the workplace, you know, I think, you know, whether they get themselves in serious trouble, it will be worth it. Yeah. And I think the message also is, is that persons or people must not allow that type of behavior and that there are mechanisms in place there's an organization in place the law in place to help people mm -hmm. and they should not while they while they are victims of the act but there's help exactly and and that's one of the things we want to show people because you know in the policy you know you say there's a zero tolerance to sexual harassment in the workplace and we're putting all this support in place so that persons would know that this is an issue, that it should not be in the workplace. You should not have to come to work. And life is already stressful as it is already. And you have to come to work and deal with a situation. And sometimes uh, in, in, in some workplaces, um, you know, your, your plea for help, um, you know, they'll say, well, you know, why you, you, you want to cause trouble in the, in the workplace? I know him. I know him for years. He wouldn't do that. Or, you know, I, I'm saying he because it's prevalent, you know, the, the prevalence it with, with male um, um, sexually harassing females. And it's not only um, a situation of power. It could be a colleague, right? Um, it could be in somebody in a lower position than you. You know, we have this, this idea that it has to be the person on top, the person with the power. No, it, it's across the board. And the other um, thing is that we, we had cases with um, men sexually harassing, you know, younger men on the workplace, um, women sexually harassing younger girls on the workplace. So it's all across the board. So it's not to say that it's only men sexually harassing women in the workplace. So the national work policy um, is being worked on, right? No, there is a it national is. workplace there policy, is. yes, it was accepted in Parliament on International Women's Day in 2019. Okay. Right, so this is just, um, you know, another layer of support. 
Yes. In terms of because we have been doing the outreach, we have been working with, you know, the private sector, government ministries, we have been doing it, but you know, sometimes you would do and you'd still say it's not enough. Yes. Because if you have to reach everybody, the entire and and, and you know, having sessions like this is very welcome because, you know, if somebody's listening and they can tell a friend, you know, they can tell a family member, tell a co-worker who, yes. um, you know, wasn't able to, to listen in on the show or we haven't gone to their workplaces as yet to do the outreach in terms of what is in the policy and what would be the expectation of employers because there is an expectation of an employer if you raise an issue in the workplace that it would be addressed. Ms. Gomez, uh, before we run out of time, give us the number again that people the can call. The number persons can call is 800 CAAD. Now we also have an email address in terms of SH CAAD. SH is for sexual harassment. So you can send us an email. We're making it very accessible. If, you, if they are migrant workers who are listening and they want to send in Spanish, they can write in Spanish. We have persons who speak Spanish and French and they would be able to translate. So we, we want to cater for everybody. Once you are working in Trinidad and Tobago, you are protected by the laws of Trinidad and Tobago. We don't ask you whether you, your, your status, um, once you are a worker and you are employed in Trinidad and Tobago, you are protected by all the laws of the land in Trinidad and Tobago. Ms. Gomez, thank you very much for coming this morning. It's thank always interesting speaking with you. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. And I really hope that um, the members of the public, you know, they will feel free to call the helpline if they need assistance. Now, it's strictly for sexual harassment yes. um, in the workplace, and we really want that to be um, something that, that, you know, it will be a thing of the past. Right, so this is really another layer in the preventative tools that we have to offer the Ministry of Labor. Thank you very much again, Ms. Gomez. So all of you who fresh, there's something for all you now, eh? A message from the Ministry of Labor.